Whew. What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guys channel. My name is Lloyd. Today we're gonna to be talking about something that a lot of guys ask me, which is how to read women. I would say 99% of men out there do not know how to read women. <laughs> they get it completely wrong. Um, and to a certain extent, it's not necessarily their fault because nobody taught them really how to do this and nobody really talks about this in the right way. Uh, but we're gonna do this on this video. So basically, we're gonna talk about why it's so hard to read women we're going to talk about the tips and tricks and things, some of the things that I look for that might be helpful. But really, we're going to talk about what's the fundamental concept to know if a girl is interested in you. Because really, at the end of the day, when it comes to this, that's what we're trying to figure out when it comes to reading women. Is this girl actually interested in me? Okay, and there's a way to figure this out. You might not be able to read every single little thing that the woman's doing, but you can definitely figure that out. And that's what we're going to cover in this video. So stay tuned. Okay, before I get into this, you guys, if you are looking to learn how to do this. I have an eight week program that I'm coming out with that's more affordable than my one-on-one -on -one program and I am looking for guys that are ready to start right now. We're gonna learn exactly how to read women, how to have that man to woman connection, be able to get over approach anxiety, all of that stuff. So if you're interested in that eight week program, shoot me an email with the words team, okay? All right, so let's get into it. Why is it so hard to read women? Women are biologically and subconsciously more deceptive than men are, okay? Well, and I don't mean that they lie more with their words. What I mean is that they don't like people being able to read their intentions. They don't like it when a guy knows for sure if they're actually interested in them. And it, because women are the weaker sex, if women, men could read them perfectly, it would put them in kind of a dangerous situation. So if a guy knew that a girl kind of liked her for sure, you know, he might be able to take advantage of that because he is bigger, he is stronger. So women use their deception as a weapon, as a tool to give themselves more power. Now, how does this look, look like in the real world? So what this means is that even if, you know, a lot of people say that men just can't read women. Well, the truth is, is that <laughs> women can't read women either. There's a lot of evidence to back this up. For instance, there was a study that was done where they showed two people talking, a man and a woman. So they showed the man and the woman talking and they asked respondents, both men and female, um, male and female, uh, to watch the video and say how interested the other person was into, uh, you know, how interested the other person was into that person. So the men responded that the guy looked like he was pretty interested in the girl. And the woman responded as well that the guy looked like she, he was pretty interested in the girl. And usually their answers matched up with what the guy said. Now, when they asked them about the woman, the guy said that the woman looked pretty interested in the guy too. But their answers actually didn't match up with the answers that the woman in the video gave. Um, usually the woman said she was less interested than what the guy said. Now, I don't think that just because the woman says she's less interested that that's an accurate assessment. If women are naturally deceptive, then you know she might be being deceptive with what she's saying too, <laughs> okay? Uh, but the point is, is that the answers didn't match up, okay? Now they asked the women, the same question too, and the women got it wrong just as much as the men did. That means that women are deceptive, not just towards men, but towards other women as well too. So women in general are pretty tough to read, okay? So knowing this, how can we read women better, okay? Well, one of the things that I tell you guys, and they did, they did studies on this too, the men who assumed that the women were more attracted to them than they actually were, did better. So first of all, always assume the attraction. <laughs> Second thing, um, women do a lot of little things when they're interested in a guy, okay? And it changes with each individual person. Like some like to play with their hair, some like fill around with their nails, some might look sheepishly and give really quiet one word answers. Some might talk a lot more and give really good eye contact. So it really varies between the person. And sometimes if they're fidgeting and doing a lot of stuff, you can kind of tell. I think the best one though, is seeing if the girl hangs around you. Like if she's around you a lot, probably means she's uh, interested in you or at least there's a good chance of that. But all of these things, you guys, I gotta be honest with you, I've been out a lot, I've been with a lot of women, and sometimes you get none of these. Like, you get literally nothing, and sometimes they change between people, so it's really tough to tell, like, which is a for sure sign, okay? So I have a lot of trouble reading women. Now, I'm not gonna be able to teach you how to read women for individual situations, but I can give you a one fundamental rule that I think works pretty well. It doesn't work a 
hundred percent of the time I'd say, um, but like high, high enough likelihood that if a girl's doing this, she's, there's a really high chance that she's into you. And that's if she is following you, okay? I spoke about this before in my man to woman interaction video, which is if you're leading and the woman's following, that's a man to woman interaction, okay? Basically, if a woman's doing this, that means there's some there's something there. She's attracted to you in some way, shape, or form, okay? Women don't follow men that they're not into. Women don't do that for guys that they're not attracted to. They just don't do it, or, or unless they're trying to get money from them or something. <laughs> in, in which case, maybe they'll break the rule, their rule on that. So, in this, what you guys have to start doing more of is leading and see if the women are gonna follow you. You know, if you say, hey, let's go to the bar and get a drink, does she come with you? If you say, hey, let's go sit down for a second, does she come and sit down with you? If you're organizing a date and say, hey, let's meet at this place at this time, does she come and show up? Or does she say, oh no, I'm like, I don't, I don't really like that spot, let's eat somewhere else. Or she, every time you try and dictate the conversation, she changes the subject and only talks about what she wants to talk about, okay? This is a basic, basic principle of attraction. This is a basic principle of like seeing if just women in general are into you or if they're down for you or if they're willing to stick around you, okay? A lot of women, what they'll do um, is, They'll try and like do what they want and preferences. Oh, this guy seems nice. Like I'll keep him in, in my back pocket. But when you really ask them if they're actually into that guy or if there's something there, the, the answer is usually no. If they're not following this guy, if the guy's not leading and she's not down to follow him, probably not going to happen, okay? So what I invite you guys to do is do more of those things to see if the girl's interested in you. I'm not joking, you guys. Like I've taken home women back to my place that gave me nothing. Like when I was talking to them, like they gave me one word answers. They had trouble giving me eye contact. You know, they wouldn't really ask me any questions. And like sometimes when it came to proximity, like they would just be standing by themselves. Um, but dude, when I asked them to come to the bar and get a drink with me, they came. When I led them to someplace else, they followed. Like, they were down to follow my lead. And because of that, we ended up hooking up and having a great time and, you know, maybe started a relationship or something like that, okay? You're not always gonna get a for sure sign by uh, different women, but that's the closest thing that you can possibly get is if you lead and she follows. Again, I talk about this a lot in my eight week program, um, and if you're able to do this very effectively, then there's zero reason why you shouldn't have tremendous success in your dating life and with women in general. And not just two, you're also gonna have, be able to do execute this in like your career. Being a more dominant, positive, masculine presence um, is something that a lot of people need, man. So that's what I talk about in my coaching program. So if you're interested in that, do what I just said. Send me an email with the words team. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.